What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials and get yourself a copy of Savage 808, it's a sub, because they slap. Now today we're going to be going in to um, a little tutorial on my favorite plugin. Um, it is the sauce, because I put that shit on everything, it's called Sugar Bites Loop Raider. Now um, this is one of those plugins where, um, you know, CMP is early. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping out. I'm earlier on it. This is um, the and, and the reason why I'm early is because I buy my shit. Um, effect tricks is what people see. Um, you know, stuff like in the uh, in the sizzle periscopes and stuff like that. So they go out. They hack effect tricks. There's effect tricks hacks out everywhere. There's not a lot of. Um, <clears throat> I don't. I, there may not be a lot of looperator ones. I don't know, bro. But um, that's why I assume that this isn't that popular, and Effectrix is. And then on top of that, people see Effectrix like on a famous producer's, um, you know, screen cap or something like that. So they're only going to use that um, because I mean, let's face it, bro. People are ignorant. So um, looperator is the new and improved version of Effectrix. It I got it for ninety nine bucks. It's one nineteen now. It's going up in price because it is that good. Um, everything, almost everything that Effectrix does, except better. Um, the tape stops sound better. The filters sound better. It's got better distortion. It is a updated version of it. Um, so yeah, let's just go into how I use it. Um, Typically, the way I use Effectrix is I will either use it on, um, I'll, I'll use it on my buses. So I'll have it either on my drum bus, my band bus, or my filter bus. Drums if I want to affect just the drums, band if I want to affect the instruments, filter if I want to affect the whole thing. And um, you, can, uh, you can go to studio1tutorials.com and peep the first episode right here in the free beginner series and that um, will take you through how to create this template so that you can keep up with this tutorial. Now, um, for example, I got this beat right here. So say I wanted to add some variation to this part. What I would do is I would go ahead and loop this up and let's put um let's run it let's run it on the whole track first, right? And we'll go ahead and add looperator. And now I'm just going to the first thing I'll do is I'll just in it all now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to one half so that um, it, it it ends at the eight bar loop. And a, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll start with, uh, you know, this this loop function. This is, you know, essentially um, it's it is, you know, looping, you know, looping this first um, quarter note or the, this first half note over and over. So you get so you get that nice little loop. And then from there you could go you could run into the different filters like a low pass filter. Um, also, if you go into this section right here, if you hit a U, you can create you know, you can create your own version of whatever it is you're trying to do. Like, so for example, um, you can go off the filter or the vowel filter. Um, and then from there, you know, make, make your own, make your own adjustments and see, you know, and see if you like it. Go ahead and take that out. And then add U1 so you can hear it. Right, because that's what we're working on. Doesn't sound that doesn't sound that cool. So maybe the vowel filter isn't for this. You go back to the regular filter, set what you want to do. Yeah. 
you know, um, all of these all of these are automated through MIDI Learn. You can right click on them, uh, send them to send them to either the knobs on your um, on your MIDI controller, or um, you know the 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 faders on your on you guys' MIDI controller, the pitch wheel, however, however you want to run it. Um, typically for me now, the the presets that that they have inside of all these is is really good. The only thing I'll, I might mess with is like the vinyl to um to mess with to mess with the speed or, or, and everything but these these user presets it it makes it makes the um it makes the experience um so much more customizable so you know you'll you'll start with and you can and you can kind of build it out to whatever you want Get a taste for the tape stops. And then drop another one of these right here. So, you know, once I have that and I like that, um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll click this button right here, click store preset, save it as whatever the function is like. So um, I'll call this first 16 or first, uh, first four stutter this would be like something I would use on the first four of a verse and then what you got to do um, is obviously you don't want this to play throughout the whole track so I'm gonna go here to my automation controls go to add and remove parameters select bypass click add and close now this is gonna make me an automation lane so I could go ahead and this is a this is an off on function so you don't need to draw um, curves and the line being at the top of the of the channel is um, is is bypass engaged, so the effect is off. And with the line on the bottom of the channel, that's bypass off, which means the effect is on. So you hear this. So that is that's using it in a in a filter capacity. Now, if I wanted to go into the drums, all I could do, all I have to do is go ahead add another looperator. Let's get let's get rid of that track. Add a looperator to the bus channel or the drum channel, right? It's in it all. Set it to one half. Now let's see here. Do something a little different. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so now say you wanted to extend the duration of effect of an effect and make it longer and drawn out what you can do is hold shift click and drag on it and that'll chain that effect for as long as you want to drag it out for so say i want to make this little filter sweep um, during this part of the bar So, so boom, just like that, I got a good, I got a good preset. And now what I can do when I'm storing my presets is, um, you, I can go ahead and select a subfolder and type in drums. So this way, um, shoot. So this way I can, all right, taking it to the drums folder. 
and you just label it label this first first four stutter a right now when I go to now when I go to select this I have I have um, I have my drums and then I have my stuff that's my stuff that's on a filter so that is so that is uh, so that's good so now I know if I'm going into the drum bus I can go ahead and and deal with that um, and it's the same thing you know you remember when you want to go to automation add a move parameters bypass and then close and then that way you can you know you can have it off for the parts you want it off So let's get rid of this, remove track, and let's go. Oops. Let's remove this guy right here. And let's put one on the band bus. All right, so loop raider on the band bus. Let's go ahead in it all. See what we can do. So that's it on the band bus. Again, different, um, different, the different buses, the reason why you would split them up is because um, sometimes you'll want to affect it whole uh, as a whole, the track as a whole, giving it that sampled feel. Sometimes you might just want to do a little drum work um, and do some drum glitching. And sometimes you might just want to work with the band bus because you want to keep the rhythm from the drums intact, but you just want to add a little sauce to your instruments, you know. Um, this this plugin um, this plugin is is life to me um, because I could take something that's basic and regular and go ahead and, and run it through Looperator and have a sound that at the moment everybody's sleeping on, and um, you know it it doesn't have to be you know I have I have options available to me that um, other producers are missing out on and that's why I like to be the first out on a lot of these plugins even though I'm I know I'm not the first person to ever use this plugin but tell somebody that you use Looperator instead of Grosspeed and watch them lose their minds. So anyhow, this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio1Tutorials.com. Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we'll see you on the next one.